Hello, this is a crazy Russian realtor. Today we're going to talk about house inspection and uh, you're going to meet inspector Rick. Hi, this is Rick Spurgeon. Hi, hello. Today we're going to show you house inspection. Please tell us, why did you become an inspector? Uh, because I had a pretty good knowledge of home, of, of, of how homes were built and uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I, I like I like home inspectors are really the only person between the seller and the and the buyer that is able to tell them whether the home is going to fall apart or not. See, you've got to have an inspection before you buy a house before you can make a decision. Even if you made an offer on the house, if you made an offer on the house, you can back out if you don't like the results of the inspector. Right. And for a small house, it will be $300 here in Alabama. Right. So let's see what Rick we're gonna do. Let's, we're just, we're just gonna follow him. Okay. So the bushes that are up against the house, there should be just a little space. Now, number one, it keeps the bugs from the bushes from getting into the, into the house. It also keeps the water from the bushes to, from getting into the house. Should be just a little space. have to get on the roof as well. Hmm. That's so cool. It's currently 112 degrees up there. Is it good? That's not too bad. Yeah, that's really not. Uh, I often will see them in the summertime that are 140, 150 degrees. And I don't go into them when they're that hot. Mm -hmm. Too dangerous. Um, what did you see there? So, uh, it's, you know, there's been some work done up there, but uh, nothing that was bad. The um, it's a uh, rafter and ceiling joist construction. Uh, it's not a truss. Um, all your AC plenums and ductwork looks good up there. The um, all your wiring looks good. There was one little spot where you had some insulation missing, but. Uh, Nothing, nothing better all up there. It's okay. good. And I'm going to. Uh, You're going to take the whole thing off. I'm going to take the. I'm going to, so I'm opening up the inside. This is labeled like it should be labeled. Uh, these breakers look good from here, but what I can't tell is I can't tell what size of wire comes to those, and the size of the wire that goes to the breaker is very important. If the breaker is too large for the wire, then the wire can potentially heat up 
and cause a fire. So I'm just going to pull this cover off of here real quick and um, see what we can see. Well, if it's a new home, isn't it supposed to be like perfect? Well, it's rare that I see perfect. <laughs> But there are certain things that uh, are more dangerous than others, that's for sure. And actually, it looks pretty good. So you've got your wires that are coming in, coming over and down instead of just haphazard. Um, your grounds and your neutrals are separated like they're supposed to be. Um, so you've got arc fault breakers in here. Uh, the 30 amp has a 10 gauge wire. The 20 amp has a 12 gauge wire. That's all good. And the 15 amp has got 14 gauge. Yeah, there's nothing wrong in here. This all looks pretty good. And we enter the house, they see a closet in the foyer. The house is built in 2005, you see popcorn ceiling. So it's only 15 years old. You see living room. Carmica tops. All appliances included except washer and dryer. Here is going to be a laundry room. No boiler. This is your dining area. One bedroom. Above room. Closet. Since this is a split floor plan, you can see another above room over here. Bedroom number two. With one window in the closet. And the bedroom number three. This is awesome looking window. This could be an office, right? Turning the thermostat down right now to check the AC, make sure it's going to have the proper temperatures. Mm -hmm. Whenever it gets going, then I'm looking for inconsistencies in the finish of the drywall, like right here. You can see that this mm -hmm. this is a spot that's been repaired. Okay. Yes. Okay? It looks fine, but I just, I want to know about those to see if uh, there's too many of them or if there was a problem that I need to look deeper in. And of course I checked the polarity of the, of the outlet. That looks good. So somebody's repaired this wall right here. Repair goes all the way from here out to there like that. Not sure why, maybe they had a, uh, maybe they changed the switch or something. So you see a crack? So there's, a, there's a crack right there. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, it's pretty common in a ceiling like this. Um, there may be one over here at this end as well. I don't see one. So that's good. Um, you do have one right there. Mm-hmm, okay. Uh, that's pretty common. Uh, it's nothing that I would worry about. 
It's something that uh, next time you paint the wall or the ceiling, put a little spackle in there, cover it up, and then and it should go away. Okay. Just a little stress crack from the building. How, like when, uh, like I always heard like cracks on the wall, that means that house was settling. How, how long a house settles? Uh, a house can settle almost all of its life. Uh, what happens is uh, when the water runs off the top of the house, mm -hmm. falls down next to that foundation, if it's, if it's pooling along that foundation, then it will continue, it will cause the foundation to continue to move just a little bit. Um, now this house has a slope away from the house, so it's, it's, it's better, um, but ultimately uh, a house can move almost all the, the, its entire life. It all depends upon how much it's moving. If it's moving just a little bit, it's not a problem. Okay. Uh, if it moves a lot, then we gotta do something about it. Gotcha. Oh, so again, what is this? This is an infrared a temperature sensor. Okay. Okay, I can point it at something and whatever it's looking at will tell me the temperature. That wall is 73 degrees. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. So what I do is I'll look up at the supply uh, register. Okay. And check that, that's 59 degrees because the AC is on. Okay. And then I will come over here and check the return. That's 70, so there is a 11 degree temperature difference between 70 and 59, okay? Hopefully as, we, as it continues to run for a few minutes, that temperature will increase, that temperature difference will increase from 70 to maybe 54, 55, or 56, somewhere in that neighborhood. I'm looking for about a 15 degree delta. Oh, okay. So uh, it has to Because be. that tells me how well the system is working. If it's only a 10 degree delta, uh, so the, the unit that's out there is a, is a two and a half ton unit. That should give me a 15 degree delta or something close, 14, 13, 14, 15. So we'll see. Okay. That's 59. Just check in this closet. Take a look. Ceiling looks good. The walls look good. Got popcorn texture in the house. So in the bathroom, one of the things I'm looking for is to see if the vent works. It does. It could stand to be cleaned out. That filter's a little dirty. Um, it does the uh, does the GFCI outlet work like it's supposed to? Yep. So that tripped like it's supposed to. It's probably the reset's probably in the other bathroom. I'm gonna check the uh, plumbing. <coughs> So they painted the pipe in here. Uh, so you've got like a, a plastic pipe that comes in. This one's red. This one here probably should be blue. Mm -hmm. um, being built in 06, 08. I thought it was 2005. That is fine. Okay, so in the neighborhood. Uh, it should be a regular PEX pipe. And that one being red shows me that it is. I've got the hot water on. So. That right there is, was well, warming up. It's probably warm up some more in just a minute. Um, that flushes nicely. I'm not seeing any drips or drainage around the toilet. It all looks good, it looks sealed up nicely. Let's see what temperature this is. It's cold. Why is it cold? Oh, oh look at there. Yeah, I turned over here, and now we've got a leak in the faucet. Okay. okay. So, at that's about halfway on. At full at full tilt, it's it's going to leak on me. And so uh, we're going to have to see. I'll recommend that that be uh, fixed. So we need like to replace the faucet. Uh, so, you can replace the faucet, they're not very expensive, but if you're handy, you can, you can take it apart, put in new seals, and uh, for probably three or four dollars, five dollars, you can fix it, but you got to do it yourself. Okay. Um, you know, for probably 
50 bucks, you can replace the faucet. So it's six of one, half a dozen of it. Just depends upon what you uh, decide you want to do. Check the shower, the tub, the tub's coming along good. We'll turn over the hot and see if we get some hot water. Yeah, we are. Well, that's cold too. That's working well. And uh, if it was porcelain, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But uh, being fiberglass, it does stand a chance of leaking. So this can leak? That can leak. Now, the other thing you can do is they make a patch material that you can come in and fill that up. And, uh, you I know, see. so that it's it won't leak. It's a little, it's not a perfect finish, but it's pretty good. Okay. Yep. So... Other than that, the bathroom looks pretty good. You got a little paint, a little light mm -hmm. over yeah. there. It looks pretty good. Got a tile floor in the bathroom. Got a laminate floor out here. Oh, we're good there. I'm like, where, uh, where is it? So. So. This is gas water heater, right? This is a gas water heater, yes. And I've been running the, the, the hot water. And so this line right here, mm -hmm. one or the other should be hot. Typically this is your hot this is your hot side. And neither one of them are hot. So uh, I'm just gonna check to see if this is on. It is turned on. Uh, let's see here. Because she I don't know the 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 saying that the gas is turned off. Oh, the gas is turned off. You're right. I saw it on the meter. Yes. That's why we're not getting hot water. Okay. Yeah. You're right. I saw it earlier and it didn't. I didn't put the two together. So, uh, this one is manufactured in 2017. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a 40 gallon water heater, natural gas. Uh, at seven, in 2017, that's only four years old. I would expect it to work. How long do water heaters last? Uh, eight to twelve. Eight to twelve years. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, gas water heaters, I think, are a little cheaper to operate than electric. Mm hmm. Uh, but uh, um, I think you get a little more uh, quicker recovery time too. Okay. But if you start taking a shower, it'll it'll heat the tank up faster if it's gas versus electricity. Got you. That's interesting. That's good information. So as a, as a water heater, we've got uh, a good draft hood, you've got your TNP valve, your temperature and pressure relief valve, that should be piped to the outside. Um, so if you go on the outside of the house over here, you'll see a piece of pipe that just comes out and down. That's what that's for. Then you've got a drain pipe that sits underneath the water heater, so if this starts to leak, this pan will catch the water. And then that is piped to the outside as well. So you've got a couple of little safety issues. Safety, not safety issues, but safety things in place. So uh, if it starts to leak, at least it doesn't flood the house. Okay, so there's one thing I wanna, I wanna talk about here. Uh, the, the water tank has a, a type B vent. It's a double wall vent for the because of the heat that goes through it. Uh, type B vent should have a one inch clearance to combustibles. But whenever I look at this, I don't know if you can see it. That screw is holding this up. But I can I can look here and the drywall is about that far from the pipe. And so technically that should have some, um, it should have a bigger hole there. Excuse me, just a second. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm getting a, uh, I'm getting a 13, uh, I'm getting, this is a 57 degree, uh, 59 degree now, 50, it's 57 while ago. Um, It's 57 there. So that, that means I'm getting a 13 degree delta. That's pretty good. So AC is working good. So yeah, so the AC is working well. 
Uh, it's too hot outside for me to test the heat. Okay. Because it's a heat pump. Heat pumps can only be tested uh, really at about 65 degrees exterior temperature or lower. Okay. And so. You how you open the windows. So this has got a screen that's messed up. Mm -hmm. And if you look closely, uh, the seal in the in between the windows is cracked. Can you see? Oh, that? these. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, that's what you call the seal crack. Yep. Okay. So that seal is cracked, and it's not a defect. It's just showing signs of age. Mm -hmm. So it's just getting old. This is just a brush. Same thing here. You got, another, you got the aluminum frame windows, which is okay. Double pane glass, which is a, which is a good insulator. Sorry? You're gonna take a picture of it too? Or? Yes, well, I, I, I took a picture of that one from outside. Okay. You got a, you got a damaged screen right there. That one right there is kind of worn. Mm -hmm. So, now careful, the bugs will get in. All right. What is this? Discoloration. What? Discoloration. Yes, you're right. It is discoloration, but why is it discolored? That's the question. I'm not seeing, and I can see where they painted over it, but I'm not seeing any disturbance in the texture. So I don't know if it was just something that, I don't see anything coming from above, so it's not like it was got wet. Yeah, I don't know what that's for. I can't answer every question. I wish I could. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Got a piece of uh, laminate that's missing right here. That's a cosmetic issue. That's that's something that I often will not report on in my report just because it's. It's a cosmetic issue, it's not something that uh, I'm going to really, that it's, it's detrimental to buying a house. Okay, so that one tripped right there. And this one right here tripped. Good. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to look and see, so the uh, microwave has been unplugged for whatever reason. Like You're going to plug it in? Yep, I'm going to plug it in. And you're going to see if microwave works, right? Pardon? And you're going to see if it works. Yeah, I'm going to see if it works. So, you know, here's the, there's the clock, okay, that, that's there. Fan, okay. That's working. High and low. The light is not working. So there should be a light under here so you can kind of see what you're doing. Um, so I'm going to just throw a... Put the towel in here. Gonna see if it will dry see if it's up. Gonna warm it up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, it does. Nice and hot. Okay. Okay. We'll check this stove. I'm gonna go ahead and get this get the oven going too. Oh, it's gonna make me set the clock.
So, it's 275, that's 335, that's 380, that's 4, 420. So, as you can see from the smoke off of the deals as well, the burners are working. If I wait long enough, they will get red hot, but I don't want to wait that long. So, I check the temperature with my sensor. That's uh, 200 degrees already. <coughs> so I'll give it a few more minutes. Just check this, uh, this sink over here. You can see everything has been, uh, everything under here has been painted. But if you look at it carefully, you can see, so this, right, this area right here has been wet before. It's not wet now. I'll double check it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's not wet. So this is like your moisture. This is a moisture meter, uh-huh. And so it's saying 11%. That's, that's considered dry. So if I come over here, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting 9%. Right here, getting almost 10.5%. So, that's considered dry, mm -hmm. um, and uh, so there there's, doesn't appear to be a leak under here currently, but there was at one time. Yeah. Uh, so, so the smoke detector is old. It's, it's got a yellow color to it. Typically, smoke detectors are going to last about 10 years. Okay. And uh, anything older than that, they should be replaced. Uh, in this day and age, I recommend that you replace them with a smoke CO combination. Even though you don't have a garage attached or a fireplace, you do have a gas water heater. And so uh, that's a chance for CO to enter into the house. This, this, this lock, this bottom part won't lock. It's, it should, whenever you turn this one direction or the other, it should lock, but it's not. Mm -hmm. This right here works properly. That right there really should be replaced. So a lot of people won't lock that. Um, and if they don't, then, then, they're, then the house is not secure. So this is an outswing door. Um, with, a, with an outswing door, you're going to have a, a piece of weather stripping along here. This one here has been torn up probably by dogs. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when you shut the door, you're going to have air that's going to leak through there. Uh, so in the summertime, it's going to be hot air coming in. Wintertime, it's going to be cold air coming in. So uh, lock that. So here's something else that uh, that you're going to see fairly often. See that little spot up there? Mm -hmm. That's called a nail pop. And when they when they put the drywall up, sometimes they'll put it up with with nails just to get it put in place quickly. Uh, other times they'll use screws, and sometimes the screws will back out. But that nail right there is coming out, is backing out. It's a very common it's a very common issue. Uh, it is not related to any major defect of the house. It's just something that happens. The home I was at, at this morning had probably a dozen of them throughout the house. Theirs was in the ceiling, which is, you know, common as well. So it's not an issue that I really worry about. Check the outlet, we're good. That's a uh, cable TV outlet. I don't check those because 
A lot of times when the house is empty, there's no signal coming through that at all. That looks good. Okay, 58 degrees. So we're good there. That little hole or something up there that's been patched. Sometimes I can even find, uh, I'll even find a wall where it's like, oh, there used to be a window here, you know. Uh, these all look pretty clean. And again, we'll check to see if there's any cracks in the vault of the city. No, nope. it all looks pretty good. It all looks pretty good. Now that broken cover probably should be replaced. Um, a, a little broken cover like that often is not something that I report on. Uh, it's kind of a cosmetic issue, but um, if it breaks anymore, it, I would, I would, I'd be reporting. I'm going to open up these windows, see what they look like. So that one's noisy. Works pretty well, though. This screen right here is all kind of messed up. Mm -hmm. And so, and here in Alabama we have bugs. We have lots of bugs. And so uh, if, if you open the windows and the screens aren't there, the bugs are going to come in. <laughs> so, so sometimes when you open the door, it hits the toilet. Oh, this one just clears. This one just clears. Just yeah. enough space. Barely. <laughs> there we go. Okay. What do you think of this? So that's just adhesive. Oh. That's just like a silicone. I would get a, um, a scraper and scrape that off. Uh, I may even get a, a razor blade and take it off, but someone's glued something up there, like a soap dispenser or something. Mm-hmm, okay. So looking for leaks and... Yep, looking for leaks, just checking the, uh, so your, your um, fill system here is not damaged. Uh, your, your, is it black stuff mold or what? Yeah, that's a, but that's a pretty wet spot. Uh, it's not something I'd be too worried about. What I am concerned about are the bolts that are down, down at the bottom. A lot of times those bolts will become corroded. These look pretty good, but uh, a lot of times they'll they'll get corroded, and uh, you'll start to see water coming out of the bottom of the tank. Ah, okay. Here's my attic access. I'll be getting up there here in a few minutes. This right here is going to be your interface for your cable, your data, and things like that. Okay. Um, I don't often get in those because I don't have any access to any of the any of the ways to figure out if it's wrong or, or not. So far this place looks pretty good. I'll come back to that. Furnace for heat, okay. That's actually good in my opinion. Uh, is it good? Then there is nothing connects this pipe to this unit? Doesn't mean you have a leaking heat? No, it doesn't really mean you have a leak uh, because Ultimately, this right here mm -hmm. is the outside pipe. 
Okay. There, there is a pipe on the inside of that. Okay. That this should be connected to. All right. And so I have to get my uh, screwdriver out. I carry a bunch of different tips in here to. I'll use that one right there. We were told that the unit was serviced recently. So. Well, I can tell you the unit's not perfect. You've got a, you've got a, you got a leak right here going down. That's not that big of a deal for a, for a unit that age, but uh, certainly not perfect. But is that leak old or new? That one's old. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, so there's a little dirt in here. You see at the bottom? Uh -huh. See the dirt that's in there? Yeah. That's not uncommon, but it'd be nice if it was cleaned up. Um, I don't see a data tag on here. Not there either. Oh, here's the data tag right here. Below all the dirt. Oh, over there. That's what we need. Okay. So it is a 45,000 BTU uh, furnace. Serial number is 04, so it was manufactured in 2004.